Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh video in this Fun With Flowers series from Summer Nights by Hannah Carson. We're going to be doing this flower here today and I've been staring on my page trying to work out what colour <laughs> to do it. I've been thinking, well, we've done a sort of purpley pinks, we've done yellow, orange, red, we've done We've done a sort of salmony pink, we've done blue, so what we got left really, you know, to do something a little bit different and I've been pondering and pondering and I thought, I know what, I'll just press record and then I'll decide as I talk to you because it sort of forced me to make a quick decision which um, isn't always the best thing but I think in this case would actually work and what I've decided as I'm just sort of chattering away. It's to do another purple one because this purple and pink mixed up. We'll do just purple with violets with this one. It's sort of bluey purples, I've decided. I'm just going to move my sharp and let's come in a bit closer. Now, observing this flower initially, we've got turned over petals, which, as I said before, I'm not a fan of, but anyway, um, only because I don't know what to do with them. And we've got this piece in the middle. We're going to leave this till the end and colour around it. I'm going to start with the violet, which is the lightest of the sort of bluey purples that the um, polychromo set has. And just colour um, the base of each petal, really, with this, just a light layer. Just to get me going, really, and have a think. Because I'm thinking about these dots that are here. What's going on with that? What's that supposed to be telling us? Um could choose to ignore it. Um, we could colour darker over that bit. Um, we could colour lighter over that bit, although a dot sort of implies um, darker. We could... Oh, it's so cold in here. Sorry, it's um, 8 o'clock. I'm early again today and I've got my hands on the desk and the desk seems to hold the cold. It's sunny and bright, but my goodness, is it cold on my arms? <laughs> shouldn't be cold. I think it's because I don't normally come in this early. Um, it's because my husband's working from home again today, so again, I don't have to wait for him to get off to work before I start. Um, he did really well yesterday um, at home. I think he's not often able to work from home because of meetings and, you know, having to chat to work with other people. It's not always very easy, but... Um, when he can, he can really get his head into things and concentrate better without a phone ringing, without people walking by, even just other people having conversations near him can be quite distracting. So uh, he, um, we don't tend to talk much in the day really because we're all getting on with our own things ourselves. So it provides a much better environment for him, even though he's on the sofa with his laptop and I'm either in here if I'm talking um, so you can't hear me, or I'm um, on the desk, um, at the desk, and and uh, next door getting on with various things. So it works well. Another thing we could do with the dotty bit is to do it a different colour. <coughs> Excuse me, I had thought about doing this in a sort of pinky colour, and then keep this in the in the purple, but then that would... We've got purple and pink in our one uh, top left, which um, isn't in short. So I'm not thinking, I'm not feeling that. Um, I'm going to just grab my mauve and uh, do some darker areas and still keep thinking about what I might do with that one um, while I uh, get on with this because um, I haven't really decided. So here is the mauve and i thinking it's going to be darker near the centre and then sort of fade up towards the top of the petal. Oh like that and I could just keep that I think I'm just going to make that mauve that centre bit and then fade it towards the edge I think that's what I'm going to do it might look a bit odd but I can make it work if it does if it does end up looking odd I can just make the whole thing quite dark but I'm thinking let's just sort of follow that line and then gently um, gently fade it out a little bit and uh, yeah. my son's just come down he's going to be a bit confused well I suppose he can hear me talking so he knows I'm in here but uh, his dad's gone outside 
the um it was like um a rubbish day today bin day it's recycling day and uh one of the bins the lids come off and there's paper it looks like an animal's been in it eating the paper and it's spread itself all around the place blowing around the husband's just gone outside to sweep it up which is good of him i don't know why i suppose he's got a bit of time i think his first meeting isn't until nine right so we've got a bit of a i think that's okay and i'm gonna go back to my um violet and do a little bit of blending and like going over it a bit to uh, tidy it up and just sort of blend it out to the edge rather than leaving it as a sort of harsh line. So just going over areas a little bit. Yeah, I hope the weather's going to stay dry today. It's so unlikely, it's so changeable at the moment. Like um, yesterday, um, we had sleet, no, it, hail, then rain, then sleet, and sunshine. So, and I was very lucky I went out, which I have to do again today. And uh, the weather um, um, was kind to me, and it stayed dry while I was out, so that was good. Okay. Now we need to think about um, <clears throat> under here and in here. I'm thinking maybe I do that little centre bit a little bit darker. I'm still using my um, violet though, not the mauve. I don't want it too dark. So just in the centre parts. Like that. And then I'm thinking I'm going to do some shadowing with the paints grey. To use this a bit, quite a bit on this page, haven't we? It's getting short. Um, so under here, maybe it's a bit dark. I think it'll work. And the same here. So under all these sort of turned over bits. Well, now in the very centre I'm going to put a little bit too, sort of as if these, um, the centre bit is creating a shadow. Now I don't know what colour to do those. I was sort of thinking pink but no. I think yellow is really nice with purple. I might keep it delicate though. Just reaching over. I'm going to use the light academy in yellow and just I'm going to sharpen it because I don't want to go out of the lines because if I put the yellow on top of the purple, um, well violet mauve, it might look a little bit weird. Although I've gone over the edge a bit. I don't know if this will be too light so I'm going to layer it up a little bit. Whoops and snap the end apparently. It's unlike a polychrome mouse, must have done it too sharp. Now I'm not thinking that this is a particular type of flower or anything. Okay, now on this one we put a few darker areas on here and it I liked that. I'm gonna do the same on here. You don't have to do this. I'm going to do it with an orangey colour. I don't think this is actually an orange. This is the dark chrome yellow. It looks very orangey. Just sharpen it. There we go. <clears throat> so dark chrome yellow. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge. I don't know if it's going to even show up much on because I've burnished this yellow quite a lot. Just a little bit. So I'm doing like an almost little semicircle, just on one side, leaving a little gap between the before the edge. 
there. I prefer that. I don't know how much that's even showing up. <clears throat> now, I am going to grab my violet again because this is a bit scruffy. You can see the pencil lines. So I'm just going to go over it really quite gently and try and just make it look a little neater. I'm thinking doing it in the direction towards the centre makes more sense. If you look at a, a petal, there's sometimes mini lines on it and they always point, they're always in the direction of this way. So that's what I want to make sure I've got going on here if there's lines showing that they're in the correct direction. But I'm almost there, I think now. I so tempted to add a tinge of pink but I'm not going to. I could add a bit of blue. Let's do a bit of blue instead. What's this? Yes, let's do the helio blue reddish. I just want to add a bit of colour to the edges. I don't know why. I just feel like I want something a little bit different in here that it's not just plain. So I'm just going to scumple this in a little bit to sort of blend it into the violet. Um, I'm going to put it along the whole edge of the petal so I have to decide which one's on the top because this bit disappears behind. Oh, someone's sneezing. I don't know if that was very loud. I hear someone in the kitchen having breakfast. See, we go all the way across the top of this one because we've got no turned over bit. See, so you don't have to do this. I just feel like it needed something. If you're not going all the way down there because this is the one that's on top. I just want to show you some different ideas as well. Sort of like a flower masterclass. Hints and tips, different ideas of how to colour them. Hopefully it's been quite useful or interesting or fun. You may have even coloured along. There we go. I'm going to leave it there. It's not that dark. I don't want it to really jump off the pages having a deep outline. But it's just a little bit of something different. So there is that one all done. So we've got one left, which is quite sad, but um, I've really enjoyed this page. I've been meaning to do it for ages and uh, just sort of seeing it and thinking I'm going to do it and then forgetting it and then not doing it and blah. So uh, it's been really nice to be able to do it, especially at this time of year when we've got flowers coming up. So please join me tomorrow for the final one. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know what I'm doing with that one, so that'll make a change. So anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.